Okay, so what's going on is today is Saturday. The Missouri QSO party is going on. I think Mississippi is too, but I'm in Missouri. So I'm going to be throughout the weekend just kind of checking in and see how it's going. Score a few points. Again, I have kids and lots of activities, so I can't take this very seriously. Um, I believe it starts from 9 in the morning to 10 at night or 11 at night on Saturday, and then the same thing on Sunday, 9 in the morning. So it kind of has a break. It's, it's like it's not super serious type of contest, so there's like a break at night. But anyway, I'm just, I just got here. I'm going to tool around. I have no idea what to expect. Just looking around, I've been playing with digital modes and the Raspberry Pi. Uh, if you don't know, the Raspberry Pi is just a, basically a tiny little computer. That's all it is. It's nothing special. It has a keyboard. It's got an uh, Ethernet port. It's got USB. You know, it's got HDMI. It's just a computer. That's all it is. Nothing. It does a lot more than that. Of course, it's got pins and stuff to go out. But anyway, trying to get my radio set up, and I've, I have had some success. So the Pi, this is the Pi right here. I've had some success, so I will be doing videos on this later. I've got FL Digi WSJTX, which I have not been able to get work yet on here, but videos to come. So as that last guy said, the band conditions are terrible. Okay, it's on line radio Kilo calling CQ. Hello CQ. Hello CQ twenty meters calling CQ CQ twenty. Uh, this is X3, Echo number one, Romeo Kilo. So I think the band conditions are so terrible that I'm going to have to switch to CW. Uh, we'll give that a try for this Missouri QSO party and see what happens. That's one good reason, one very good reason to learn CW is that you have an alternate, you have a, another option. You could go to digital also, that's a good option. But let's go to C CW and see if I can't get anybody. Nobody can hear me and, and I've been calling CQ. Check my power. Oh, of course. As soon as I get ready, then there's a pileup. I finally get everything. There was nobody. There was nobody. Now there's a pileup. Everyone else. I'm using this CW get unregistered to um, decode because he's going too fast for me. He's using a computer though, guaranteed. Okay, after about a full hour of setup and trying and testing a CQ, I only got two contacts, man. They were CW. You get two points, but I'm taking a break, man. It's just wow. That was a poda. Poda. W two R A N. Some time has passed, so let's go to upper side band and see if we can make any contacts now that it's more in the afternoon. That's the digital. Where is everybody? Look at that. Nothing. This is decoding pretty good. I like his call sign, N5CW. I really like that. All right. Thank you. Got it. N5CW in Mississippi. He, I think he's part of the Mississippi QSO party, QP. Okay, so now it is a little bit later in the day. Um, you know, the band conditions have been bad. So, what time is it? It is Saturday. It is 7 p.m. Uh, I've got an hour before the hockey game starts. I'm not a big hockey fan, but uh, you know, I've been watching it lately. Let's see if we can make some contacts. November 9, Yankee Oscar.
AE7BA. This is Tom, Missouri, STC, Mo Cuso Party. I'm doing the Missouri Cuso Party. I just needed a contact. Thank you, uh, QSL73. My process, I'm sweeping from left to right and I put in the call sign if I don't have a duplicate. All right, that's the other person calling him. 599. K0PC. Okay, now that I got the call sign, I'm going to try to break in. I've got everything ready up here. I got to wait for my position. I'm going to click I'm going to click my call sign here in a second. I'm waiting. Somebody else is calling. I didn't I hesitated. Now I hit my call sign. Somebody else got in. I'm waiting. Calling again. There we go. I'm sending my exchange. Thank you. And that's it. I just made a contact. He said thank you and he moved on. Now I need to get his exchange, which was CLN. And I log it. I'm about 30 contacts so far. Oh, I'm not trying too hard now. I'm doing a run. There's search and pounce and then there's run. Let's do a run. November 9, Yankee Oscar. 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 November 9er, Yankee Oscar. Roger that. Missouri, Missouri MO, STC. All right, got it. That was hard. November 9, Yankee Oscar. November 9, Yankee Oscar. November 9, Yankee Oscar. Okay, thank you. November 9, Yankee Oscar. You're 5-9 into Warren County, Mississippi. 
Thank you. You are 59 in St. Charles County, Missouri. Thank you for my Thank you. 73. Okay, let me explain a little bit how my setup works here. First of all, I've got the ICOM IC7300, and I have a USB cable, and that's all you need with this radio I found, and it goes into the computer, okay? I've got a lap, and it goes into the computer, and I've got a laptop here, okay? So this laptop is also just, it just has an extended uh, display here. I have the HDMI cable, so I have, a, it's a dual monitor basically, that's all it is. Same computer, okay? Now, I'm using N1MM software, and I'm not going to go into the detailed configurations, but if you look on there, you can see, all I have to do to do CW is click those buttons. So I have it set up. If I want to hit an exchange, it, ha it will exchange, it will send. I have it set up to do this contest. It will basically say, here's my call sign, here's my state, and here's my county. Basic. I have the basics here. So if I was going to do a run, that would mean I'm sitting on a frequency and I'm calling CQ. So if I call CQ, I have it. If you right click, um, it will go into that particular message. And you see I've got here the name of CQ and it has CQ, Missouri, QP, and then it'll put in your call. It will, those are variables that will, it will drop your call sign in, which you set in the other configuration. So um, all of these are the different uh, F1, F2, F3, thank you, thank you. In 9 yo my call will be replaced in that my call. Anyway, so all I have to do is click these buttons and it will send CW, which is cheating. Yes, it is. Um, but in a contest, you kind of need that speed, and it's, it's a lot easier. You don't have to think or anything. You just hit the exchange, and there's other people doing other contests, so, so I'm not quite sure what their requirements are. If I need to, I can jump on the key. I don't have to use these buttons. I don't have to, have to use everything that's exactly right here. Um, I did slow it down because some people were having trouble. You can... Using a computer, you can go really fast, right? But Okay, now, that being said, I also installed this program. I actually don't like it that much. It's called CWGET, and it's a 30-day trial, and um, it does okay. So I'm using this to decode the CW that's coming in. Sometimes it comes in, th uh, these contests are very fast. And they come in a little too fast, in fact. So you almost need a computer, because we're not doing QSOs here. We're doing a contest. And so they're using computers also, right? Since they're using computers, I'm using a computer to help me decode. And it also keeps a history of what was sent in here, which is pretty nice. In case you miss something, you'll see what was sent, instead of trying to do it all by hand. So it has this button I found called Auto Go to Max. See, I was clicking around here at first, you know, like click here, click here to try to find the signal because it's somewhere in between here when I was getting a signal. If I hit auto go to max, it automatically jumps to the max and it will decode for me. Now, it took me a while to find this, but I like to clear all this junk out, right? So I go to file and clear buffer and it clears it out. So let's see what it, how good it does when we try to decode a signal. You'll see we're right here. There's, there's some junk right here. It's just waiting. See, it got the call sign W4JKC. And they stopped transmitting, so I don't know who it is. Let's go to the strong signal. Now I'm gonna clear it out. File, clear. It is That's really good. Test. I know they're a contest. I didn't get the call sign though. And look at that. Go to max. See how it goes to the max? SN7Q, that's a strange call sign. Now if you don't have go to max, it won't do that for you. It'll just sit over here, but if you have go to max, it'll jump. So I'm gonna try to contact this person and using my buttons. SN7Q, here we go. I'm gonna wait for him to call. I'm gonna call, click my call sign. I'm going to hit exchange. Okay, 
So I had to use my key there. He was asking me what number I am. I don't have a number. Whenever they do that, they're in some of the contests, just give a number and give a one. He just needs a number, right? Because he's in a different contest. So give a number. I gave a one because I, and if I did this, anybody else, I would give it two, right? Now let's do that again. And I'll show you how I've got, I've got a CW get working. I am not recommending this software. I think there's better there's better software out there probably. I just happened to just try it. It just seemed to be easy to install on so. so okay, so let's find somebody else. I'm in it. Since it's not decoding, I'm gonna have to wait and get it myself. In one something. Come on. Okay, so now I've got his call sign and I'm ready. Wait till he's done. Now send my call sign. He heard something. There we go. He's sending his call sign too many times. He's going slower, so I'm going to slow it down. Okay, that was very nice. See, I had to use it. See, I had to use a combination of both the key and and the computer because I don't know what contest or what he's doing, and it was different than mine. So I went ahead and sent my exchange. And I sent it twice actually, and then I, I had to I had to hit uh, a couple things on my own. But that's how that's how you just do it. You just kind of wing it, you know. You got to be familiar with what your buttons do. You have to be real familiar because if you hit the wrong button, it, it'll it might start calling CQ or something, right?